Yes, I knew Sister White in this way. I heard her preach once and saw her, of course. It was in Boulder, Colorado, at the camp meeting in 1909 in a building with an iron roof right at the base of the Red Rocks there. It's on the campus of the University of Colorado. And uh, she was there, I suppose. There were 200 Adventists and maybe uh, the rest of 1,000 people or 800 people were just people of the town, people of various denominations and wanted to see the Adventist prophet. I can remember when she came on the grounds in a surrey drawn by two horses and Willie White, her son, was with her, and Miss McIntyre, her, her companion and nurse. And the meeting that night, she preached to us. I was sitting at her left hand, about, oh, 15 feet from her. could see her plainly, of course, right there. platform was about a foot, foot and a half high. And she had this big, thick Bible. She was preaching faithfully, giving God's message. And... Uh, I, I was interested. It was interesting. She was just a dear, sweet Christian mother or grandmother telling us what we ought to do. Just as she started to talk to finish off, it started to rain on that iron roof, and you can imagine. Now, remember, no amplifiers in those days, except you carried your amplifier with you. And she's had a regular preaching voice, and you know, from this, from this conversational tone or voice that she'd been using, she went into her real preaching voice, and you could hear her voice just like a silver bell right through all of that confusion caused by that rain. She could talk right through the rain noise. And then she talked just about a minute, and then she kneeled down to pray. She told her son, I must pray for us. And she came over on my side of the platform and kneeled down to pray. I can hear her now. She said, not our father, but oh, my father. And from that moment on, it was a personal communion between her and the Heavenly Father. In just a minute or two, there seemed to be a mighty power come over that meeting. Now, I felt it. I was just a, just a boy, and I was a member of the church. I'd been baptized about a year and a half before. And I could feel that power until finally I, I was afraid to look up for fear I'd see God standing right there by. She was talking with him. She'd forgotten all about us. And she was in the presence of the Lord. And a minute or two more went by and that whole crowd, you could hear them weeping, crying over their sin. A tremendous revival, really. Spiritual revival. That mighty power of God. When she preached, God blessed her as a preacher. But when she began to pray, he honored her as his prophet before the people. I'll never forget it. 